Hi guys and welcome back to another Airborne Aviation video and in today's video we're going to have a look at how to set up Euroscope as an observer. Now this is can be slightly tricky as Euroscope is quite a um, uh, quite an old program but uh, and setting up can be slightly difficult however once you've got it started then uh, everything seems to uh, it's, it's a great program then and everything works well but um, I'm just in the middle now of getting my uh, VATSIM qualifications and I've uh, literally just passed my um, S1 practical exam and so should be uh, a controller uh, shortly. However, um, let's talk about how to set up Euroscope when you first got it and what you need to do to get it working and how to connect to the network as an observer and to make sure you can uh, see aircraft, listen to frequencies etc etc so first thing you got to do after you've installed it is just simply open up Euroscope like so and the first thing you're going to come up is not this first thing you need to do is actually let's do something else first let's download um, what's going to be super important is the uh, VATSIM controller pack so the way we do that is we go to the VATSIM UK website, controllers, become a controller, downloads. And here we have everything that we need. So this is the first but this is the place where you can download uh Euroscope through the controller clients, Euroscope, download it there. And then we're also gonna need the VATS the UK controller pack, which is in the most downloaded. Or oh, it's in is it in Euroscope controllers tools? I can't remember. Yeah, UK controller pack there. So we need to download that. Uh, so I'll do that now and then we also need the plugin download that good okay so while that's downloading let's just go keep controller pack so we're gonna have all of this you can read the read me if you want it tells you how to do it but I'm gonna show you anyway and then you have the UK pack this is what we need and so once Euroscope's downloaded it's gonna go into your documents Euroscope and then UK as you can see mine's already in here just simply copy this into the UK uh, just co sorry, copy the UK folder into the Euroscope uh, pack so once we've got all of that we're then gonna go uh, and the plugin now the plugin just adds a few things it's you can read about what it does but people just want to make sure that you've got it in there so everyone's sort of got a similar program going across um, uh, across the uh, across the board for all the controllers so the plugin same thing whoops we can't open it because it's a DLL file but it, same thing just put it in the Euroscope folder you can see mine's already in here you uh, can control the plugin the other thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go to uh, getting started is it yeah here we are getting started download my key and then this here needs to go into your uh, folder as well and I'll show you why in a minute so first thing you're going to do is it's going to load up a, a blank screen I think it was going to ask you what you want to load up first best thing to do is um, cancel that and open a sector file load sector file you Euroscope documents Euroscope UK uh, then go data sector UK open then what you should find is the whole of the UK mapped like this good okay now we want to have a look at an individual airport I was on Edinburgh and so uh, I want to have a look at the how Edinburgh works uh, and look at the Edinburgh SMR which is basically just the ground map of Edinburgh where you can see all the aircraft so to do that we're going to go open uh, open sector sorry open UK uh, where are we going Scottish nope we're going uh, data sorry uh, ASR am I right uh, yeah ASR then Edinburgh Edinburgh SMR open that and here we have Edinburgh map that's should be uh, that should be uh, shown like this and you can do that for any of the airports so for example if you've got open sector open uh, UK data ASR let's go I don't know if so we want to go Gatwick and Gatwick SMR and then you show the Gatwick uh, airfield next 
actually next what we're going to do is show you how to uh, put uh, load the plugin that we just downloaded so we're going to go to uh, other set plugins I've already got mine installed here but we're going to go load UK Euroscope documents Euroscope there's the plugin open and then it's going to ask you for the uh, other file that you downloaded for the API put that into your Euroscope folder and just uh, click that which is perfect let's see let me see if I can show you so oh, go there perfect uh, no it doesn't want my API but it'll come up with another program and it'll come up with another screen saying please load your API and that's the second file we downloaded for the plugin uh, so just click that and then good so all this is in now we can close this and now let's actually see about connecting to the network so connect I've got all my details in here I'm gonna do uh, uh, OBS so observer my facility I'm just gonna be in the uh, observer ratings observer at the moment hopefully that should be changed shortly though and then UK one server uh, certificate password this is all pretty self-explanatory you don't need anything else and uh, connect good we'll close this for now next thing you may think why am I not seeing any aircraft it's currently a Sunday uh, afternoon midday at Gatwick we should see aircraft you're absolutely right we should uh, but the reason we're not is because we haven't set a visibility range yet and so to set this all we're going to go is type into the bar down the bottom dot viz and then the airport that we currently want to watch so at the moment with Gatwick eg kk enter then hopefully that should populate with aircraft yeah there we go good and then we can also see who's on uh, the uh, who's online ATC wise to be so we've got a uh, Gatwick Tower online uh, so we'll try and listen to him a little later um, for the audio this is not run now through Euroscope like it was before because with the new VATSIM servers it used to be all done through this it's not anymore we need to go back online and we need to go to uh, VATSIM audio type that in uh, software I'm hoping it's here I can't exactly remember where it is uh, Euroscope ah here we are audio for VATSIM and then you need to download this Good. Once you've downloaded that, you can then just go audio for VATSIM. There it is. Load up the program, and it will look like this. If any of you have flown online, it's a bit like the V Pilot kind of uh, format, but it's basically a better way that the uh, it's basically better servers, and it's more. Uh, stands a lot better and easier to use as well so go into settings and we can set everything up I've got my mic and my uh, what I want it to the speakers and then I've also got you can leave all this and then just set your push to talk I've just set it to shift set it to whatever you want I've had some CID this is all pretty self-explanatory hopefully and then we can what we're going to do go back to Euroscope so now let's say we want to listen in to Gatwick Tower. So Gatwick Tower is on 124220. Actually we'll have a look at ground because that's the position we're going to be on. So Gatwick ground is on uh, 1, 2, I don't know why he's got tower next to his name, that isn't right, that should be uh, ground or GMC ground uh, movement coordinator but we know that the frequency that we need is one two one decimal eight we bring up the audio um, box again and click connect so it's got me and uh, my call sign which is good and you can see that I've got one nine 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 is the default and that you can see that is similar that is exactly the same to what we've got in Euroscope so we need to change it in Euroscope and then we should be able to change it on the uh, then it will change here and then we can listen to ground it's pretty self it's pretty simple but I know when you initially set your scope up it can be quite um, daunting so let's just get rid of this uh, just double right click to get rid of it if you want to 
private message anyone. Just um, not the aircraft on the um, on the controllers. Just double click their position, and then you can send them a message. However, they look quite busy, so I'm not going to bother them. And the other thing that we need is the departure and arrivals list. Firstly, I'll do the audio in a minute. Departure and arrivals list. So we do that by selecting runway, going to the airport we're at. As you can get rid of Manchester because we're not there. Going to the airport that we're at, which is Gatwick, and just selecting departure and arrivals. Okay, then this should populate. There you go, with uh, the departure. So I'll run you through what this means in a minute, but let's have a look at some audio. So we're going to go back to this audio panel, and we're going to go. I'm just going to click example. Get rid of that. I'm going to go egkk underscore gmd. And if you can see what I say, one, two, one. This is well prepped. One, two, one decimal eight. So we're going to put this in. One, two, one decimal eight zero zero. And server. This is important. Just put um, na anything. Just not the actual server because we're going to use different servers through our. Um, that's some audio that we just downloaded. Channel egkkgnd, and then uh, go new. And then there, here, there we go. It's got egkk ground one to one decimal eight. And now we need to click that as primary. So that should change up there, and it should change as well in here in just a minute. Let's have a look. One to one decimal eight. There it is. So. We've now got this set up, and we should hopefully be able to hear them. That's the idea, anyway. Should be able to hear ground um, talking to the aircrafts, and the aircraft talking to ground. So, while that's setting up, you can see it's quite a busy day at Gatwick today. We can run through the departure list and what it, what this all means, and what they're going to want you to do with it. So, we've got the call sign here. It was recommended that first thing you do is put them in alphabetical order. So you do that by just double clicking the, uh, there we go, there we go, so there's the, uh, there's the uh, communication going on between ground, which is great. So, what we're going to do next is you can see we've got here, um, you can see we've got here the departure list and uh, the aircraft and uh, their call sign, where they're departing from, which is obviously Gatwick, the aircraft type. Now this here is, I'll come back to this in a minute, this here will bring up their flight plan if you just double click on I and you can just check that it's all good. Uh, if you're actually controlling, you don't really need this as an observer and I'll perhaps do another video when I'm on, on ground of how to properly set this all up. And then the destination, their standard instrument departure, what memory they're going off, the initial altitude, and their squawk and final altitude. So, I'll talk a little bit more, I'll do a video in ground, I'll talk a little bit more um, uh, when I'm actually um, when I'm actually a ground controller, I'll show you how to, do, and I'll run you through how to do all of that, but this is just basically to observe what you need. And this is essentially it, you don't need much more than this just to observe. Uh, and learn, and I really, really recommend that you uh, actually don't need this meta. I really, really recommend that you do some observing, spend some time listening to controllers that are already uh, verified, because what that means is that you can understand the terminology, how they speak, etc., etc., which is super important. Uh, so when you go into your practical exam, um, you you'll know how it's done. Can't do Gatwick um, initially; that needs to be an endorsement. But you, uh, or Heathrow, but you can do anything else. You normally be assigned, I think, Manchester or Edinburgh. I was assigned Manchester. Uh, I was assigned Edinburgh. Sorry, um, which which is I actually prefer because it's a slightly smaller airfield and a bit less going on. But um, uh, yeah, so you would do those two, and just as important to learn about your airfield as well. And um, what else can we have a look at? That's quite important. Um, I like to, I'll show you this, I quite like to go to space settings, set the range, oh, this is sort of a all default, I normally set it at about 2,000 feet just so I can, I like to see aircraft coming in but it's not a biggie, 1,000 feet is pretty normal and I'll probably uh, get a lot of stick for doing it at 2,000 feet, um, but 1,000 feet is fine, it's not really much of a difference if you're just observing. 
and uh, yeah, so spend some time on your airport. Have a look. Uh, this is of course the arrivals list as well. Um, have a look at what how how it's used, what people say. Uh, I'll just also run us through how to set up a meta. So we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna click this little uh, letter next to the frequency, and this is what um, information we're on at the moment. So we're on information delta at the moment. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to browse to this will be blank or default. I can't remember, but whatever it is, we need to go to browse UK data ATIS and select that. Open that, and that will fill this box with everything we need. And to set up a uh, ATIS, we can type in the aircraft. Important not to connect the ATIS because we're not actually controlling but um, press uh, a to support is e um, we we'll go for Gatwick uh, get meta so there's a the meta for Gatwick uh, test URL automatically generate new ATIS using the URL uh, is what we need to tick uh, this is all again this will all be set up when you're actually logging on for the first time which I will show you in another video and you can just listen to the playback and start multiple record playback and you should be there you go and you can hear the ATIS stop and that then all you need to do is press connect ATIS and that will be live good um, what else is important up here so yeah take the files are what people sometimes get slightly confused about uh, here's another thing so here it says down the bottom we've got sort of a flight strip and it says the call sign, um, then their uh, designated, uh, I don't know what's it called, the, the designated call sign. So, EasyJet, of course, is known over the radio as Easy, BA, Speedbird, etc., etc. So, here we'll put it in, we'll see, we've got a BA2519 and it um, tells you what their call sign yeah, well, their radio call sign is next to it, so speedbird. So you don't have to. So what's this? This is. I don't know what that is. SUV. But there, you see, it's dance air. So that's all I need to know. So just go, dance air six seven. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So really useful. But the way to set that up, which is important, is go open sector, load ICO airlines data, and go. Actually, I'm going to mute this for just a moment because, uh, just so you can hear me, that's not what I want. I want open volume mixer. Let me that for a minute. Okay, so then you want to go to uh, we're looking for the ICO airlines data. So we go uh, data files, ICO airlines, and open. And just do this for all of them. So airports, go to data, airports, and open. And then aircraft, same thing, data files, aircraft, open. Then when you click on uh, the aircraft, it'll show you uh, where uh, what their call sign is, where they're going, etc., etc., and the, the route validation stuff. So that's just what you need to do to link everything um, to the UK controller pack. And yeah, I think that's I think that's about it to be honest. Um, again, I'll do another video when I'm uh, when all my ratings come through and show you how to lock on as a ground controller. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, by all means pop it in the comments below and I'll try and get back to everyone but um, I think that's just about everyone everything it is quite a haphazard video not particularly well planned granted but I uh, just thought I would um, I, I, I struggled a lot uh, when I first tried to log on to Euroscope about how to set things up so I thought I'd just do a quick what's it 20 minute video or something about um, about how to how to set everything up so thanks for watching guys if you do like it please drop a like and uh, hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, yeah if you want more uh, traffic controlling videos let me know and um, I hope to get uh, my ready through soon and hopefully some more traffic control videos will be on the uh, will be on the channel shortly so yeah, thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time see you